Americans love two things, food and a good challenge. That's why the television show Man vs. Food became so popular. So it should come as no surprise that other networks have tried their own versions, hoping to capitalize on the popularity of people taking on food challenges no one else would dare to try. Some shows put a small spin on the concept for the sake of originality. Some of these copycats were just single episodes of existing series, while others were entire series themselves. But all were copies of the one, the only, Man vs. Food. In 2009, Food Network premiered its Man vs. Food knockoff, Chefs vs. City. The name itself was a blatant copy of Man vs. Food, but the format was a little different. Two chefs, Aron Sanchez and Chris Cosentino, traveled the United States in search of local food challenges, being put up against a competing team comprised of two local chefs. Each team had to drive around the city to complete the challenges and win the competition. The show went on for two seasons before coming to an end. Years later, Cosentino spoke out about his time on television, noting his regrets, particularly those from his time on Chefs vs. City at the Mad Four Symposium. He warned others with television ambition, saying, "...be careful what you wish for." Another series, Food Paradise, is a long-running show on the Travel Channel that takes fans across the country in search of restaurants that make the best version of a particular food. Like many food shows, the episodes are centered around a certain theme, showcasing the best places for steaks, hot dogs, pub food, and bacon, just to name a few examples. A couple episodes have had themes awfully similar to Man vs. Food. One episode covered what Food Paradise considers to be the manliest restaurants around, in other words, places that serve large foods and large portions. The idea seems nearly identical to what you might see on a typical episode of Man vs. Food. One episode that centered its theme around large foods was called Titanic Treats, which profiled a seafood joint in San Diego that served gargantuan sushi rolls, each about the size of a burger, rolls we can easily imagine Adam Richman enjoying. Over on the Cooking Channel, there's the show Carnival Eats, in which host Noah Cap visits carnivals around North America to try unique fair foods. While the show's premise is different from that of Man vs. Food, a couple episodes have come dangerously close to copying that series, thanks to some gargantuan portions on the festival circuit. In season four, Cap traveled south for an episode called Everything's Bigger and Better in Texas, which featured him trying large versions of burritos, burgers, and sausages, among other foods, to prove the old adage about the Lone Star State. In another episode, the professional eater ate a donut nearly the size of his face, a practice which Adam Richman is familiar with. Sorted Food is a popular YouTube channel that features a host of food-related content. The featured chefs cook recipes, give tutorials, review kitchen instruments, battle each other, and, it seems, look to Man vs. Food for a little inspiration. In one episode called Two Chefs, Six Food Challenges, the winner of each challenge won ingredients which they would be able to use in the final challenge, a grill battle. Some of the food challenges in the episode include eating a giant burger faster than anyone else and participating in a blind ingredient taste test. In another episode called Poker Face, Fermented Foods Challenge, the gang tasted fermented foods while trying not to react to the sometimes upsetting taste. Some of the foods they tried included natto, or fermented soybeans, and sentry eggs. It's like going to a urinal in a nightclub and licking the toilet thing. <laughs> the urinal, the urinal cake. cake. Urinal cake. It tastes like urinal cake. While it may not seem possible for a show to rip itself off, Man vs. Food arguably found a way. Fans were livid when the show's original host, Adam Richman, quit the series. He didn't give much of a reason concerning his decision, but stated on Facebook, I now seek to explore, to learn, and to share what I've learned about food, places, people, and travel itself, and make that information enjoyable and accessible to everyone. Shows get new hosts all the time, but Richmond became synonymous with Man vs. Food, and for many fans, a new host felt wrong. When Casey Webb took over, fans were quick to express their dismay with the choice, with many taking to Twitter to make their opinions known. Fans found Richmond irreplaceable and claimed he was responsible for the show's success. Richmond was seemingly unhappy with the choice, too. The former host left a comment on Instagram subtly shading Webb, writing, "...replacement? Nah, just someone driving a stolen car." Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more matched videos about your favorite food TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.